Hey there, welcome back to my course. Today, I'm going to show you how to export vectors from vCarve Pro. In the last lesson, we learned how to import vectors, and in this lesson, we're going to learn how to export vectors. There are several different reasons why you might want to export vectors, and we'll explore those reasons in this video. We'll also look at the different file types you can export your vectors as. So why might you want to export vectors? There are a few different reasons. One reason is that you might want to use your design from vCarve Pro software in another program, like Lightburn software. In that case, you may need it in a different file format. Another reason is that if you're trying to send a file to someone who has different software or is using an older version of vCarve Pro software, they won't be able to open your newer version of vCarve Pro software. So if that's the case, you can send them just the design as an exported file. And finally, another reason you might want to export a file is if you're trying to sell a design that you created. The process for exporting vectors is simple. After you create your design, you can go to File and then come down to Export. You'll see that you have five different file types that you can export as EPS, DXF, AI, SVG, and PDF. For general purposes, I will export these vectors into all these file types. If you want to export your vectors as any file type, you just click on the file type. The software will automatically select all of the vectors, and your file menu will appear. You can choose the folder you want to save it in, and then you can give it a name. Now, I will export this file in five format, and save it as EPS file, DXF file, AI file, SVG file, and PDF. One thing to keep in mind is that when you export files, it's going to save the exact size of the drawing and the exact location in reference to the zero point. Except for the DXF file, you have to set the size again. But if you want to import it into vCarve Pro, it will be the exact same size. So if you go to your file menu, you'll see that you now have all file formats. Now you can use that file for different software. First, I will show you how to use it in vCarve Pro. You can create a new sheet and import all the files you exported. Next, I will show you how to use it in Lightburn for laser engraving. You will see that Lightburn cannot recognize the EPS format.
Another reason you can use it is to send it to somebody or sell it online. I would only recommend selling it if you are the original designer of that file. And that's it. Now you know how to export vectors in the vCarve Pro software. You can use this knowledge to share your designs with others or even sell them online. I hope you found this lesson helpful.